This is a historic site that will tell the story of the great leadership of the UAE, will tell the story of the people of the UAE, and tell the story of the strong women of the UAE. If the walls can talk, they'd be basically telling you stories left and right. And what we've done, if you look behind me, all these galleries on my left tell a story. Tell a story about the people who lived here, tell a story about the people who lived surrounding the fort, their interaction with the fort, their interaction with the ruling family, their interaction with the creation of the emirate. The legend is that uh, in the 1760s there was a party of tribesmen who were following the tracks of a gazelle on the mainland. They came to a ford, they were able to cross it, and they followed the tracks of the gazelle and came to where there was a little spring. The history doesn't say what happened to the gazelle, but the story of the legend is that they then went back to the sheikh of the tribe who was living in Liwa, Sheikh Diab bin Isa, to report to him, and he said, establish a settlement on the island. They basically looked at these wildes and said, we want to make sure we have hospitals and schools and clinics. And that reality has become true, but it started from here. It started from these humble beginnings. And it's something very special to tell that story. We wanted to retain all of the natural, uh, let's call them, fabrics and raw materials that were used uh, when it was originally created. And, and all of them were actually retrieved from the areas surrounding uh, Qasr al Hassan. Uh, if you want to talk about wood uh, from the mangrove trees, if you timber, or you want to talk about uh, uh, coral shells and things along these lines, all of the original materials were retained as part of this a meticulous restoration effort. Thank you. 
قالت لي لازم تبعد انا عبر المنصوري وعاش قرطي وعموز المحيط. حط له شوي من الزعفران. شوي فوق عبد الله ايوه عشان شوي It will have exhibitions, it will have galleries, it will have a theater, it will have fantastic music events, and it will also eventually have a world-class children's library. So this space is going to be a space of culture, a place of belonging, and a place of bringing people together.